Hey, this is the grade eight practice test for TN Ready. In the 1920 version of this test, this is question number four. Given the expression two to the negative, raised to the negative three power times two to the fifth power divided by two to the seventh, select three equivalent numeric expressions, numerical expressions. Now, make sure you have three answers here. Don't miss this because you forget to circle one of them. Come on, dude, get it together. Now, let's look at some what operations are here just to get a feel for it. Negative three, or two to the negative third, two to the negative five, they're in parentheses, they're touching. That means this is a multiply relationship. This big fraction bar here means divide. Now, why am I covering that? Because a lot of what operations we need to perform are based on the uh, order of operations. And I use an order of operations pyramid. You may use something else. So parentheses is the first operation, and then we do exponents, and then we do multiply and divide, and then we do add and subtract. Now, the thing about this is that, it's supposed to be an arrow, um, these two layers actually, the order doesn't matter. You don't do multiply before divide. You can do divide first. It's, that's why they're on the same level. It's just what comes to the left. The first thing going left to right, that's what you do. If it's divide, you divide. If it's multiply, you multiply. Multiply is not better than divide, no matter how many times it tells you that it is. Same with add and subtract. Add will tell you all day long. It's the best. You have to focus on it. Nope. Whatever comes from the left. So if you want to switch these around and make this SA and make this DM, fine. Whatever you want to do is fine by me. It's just this helps me organize that information. Now, when I look at the terms, like 2 to the negative third, that term is being multiplied by the term 2 to the fifth. I refer to the term, or when as you move up, um, you'll start to see it in variables, uh, the variable term as like the big brother or big sister, so the older sibling. And then the exponent, the operation that you perform on the exponent is the little brother or little sister. So if you have big brother multiply, the hand-me-down operation is add. You may or may not have younger siblings who have received your previous hand-me-downs, or you may be the recipient of hand-me-downs from your older siblings, or maybe you don't have siblings and you just know about it. So if it is from D, so it's divide, the little brother operation is subtract. So what this means is if I'm multiplying terms together, I add the exponents. If I'm dividing terms, I subtract the exponents. So let's break this out into this and work this one all the way down. And then we'll start to look at the individual breakdowns of each part. So the first thing that we need to do is deal with things on the same side of the fraction line. These are multiplying together. So I add the exponents. So 2, negative 3, plus 5, over 2 to the 7. 2 to the negative 3 plus 5 is 2 to the second power, 2 to the seventh. And since we're dividing, we subtract 2 to the second power is being divided by 2 to the 7. So we'll subtract them. So 2 to the 2 minus 7 gives us 2 to the negative fifth. The other thing that you have to think about is what do we do with negative exponents? We have options. We can move them. If we want to move them to the, so we want to flip it to the other side of the fraction line. That's fine. But we also need to use the opposite sign once we get there. So this used to be 2 to the negative 5. Any number by itself is over 1. That makes the fraction. So we can flip this over, put this one in the denominator, and it becomes 1 to the 2. But since we're flipping the fraction, we need to do the opposite sign, positive 5. So 1 over 2 to the 5th. What's 1 over 2 to the 5th? Well, 2 to the 5th is 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2 more, which is 8, times 2 more, which is 16, times 2 more, which is 32. There's 1. And you know what? I can also eliminate one of the other ones because it can't be 32 if it's 1 over 32. The reason that you would pick this is because you messed up and forgot, oh man, this is negative 5. My bad. 
So write out some of your steps and it'll be a little bit easier. Now, we can work through this and not have to go in this specific order. We just have the option to move them around however we want, as long as we follow the rules. We, f we apply the um, big brother, little brother operations just fine, the hand-me-down operations, and we apply the negative exponent rule if we flip the fraction, uh, if we flip the term on the fraction, uh, we have to use the opposite sign. So 2 to the negative 3, 2 to the 5th, 2 to the 7th. So what's up with all these? Well, this one looks like it's just breaking things out. So I'm going to 2 to the negative 3rd plus 5. All right, we actually did that part before. What about this 2 to the negative 7? Well, right now it's in the denominator, right? So let's just flip it over, put it on top. And remember, if we flip it, we have to do the opposite sign. What used to be negative is now positive. So it's positive 7. So that's one of our answer choices. Now these things... Who knows? We're going to have to look at those. It's one of the other two. Now, it's easy to fall into the trap and think, well, this has a 3 and a 7 and a 5, so it's got to be that, right? Not necessarily. I'm going to take away the parentheses for a second and just use the dot to show multiply. In this case, what they're doing is they're keeping the 2 to the 5th on in the numerator, and they're moving the 2 to the negative 3rd to the denominator which if, again, if they move it to the denominator, opposite sign, right? So 2 to the 5th, and they're bringing this down 2 to the 3rd times 2 to the 7th. But you're like, well, didn't they just divide? They would if we had changed these numbers, but they didn't. We just moved it. So you didn't actually perform an operation. So now we have to use the operation that would apply here. If they were next to each other, remember, it's multiplied. Same thing down here, because they'd both be in parentheses. Now, we're multiplying them. The big brother operations multiply the little brother operation is add. So 3 plus 7. And you'll notice for P, it's 3 minus 7, right? Wah, wah. A big clue is that the 7 is on the bottom, and there's no way it will become negative. So if it had been negative 3, maybe you could have had an argument, but you don't. You don't have an argument either way, but at least I could get it. The seven's not going to randomly turn negative for no reason. So anyway, I can combine those two things together because I know how to add. 3 plus 7 is 10, and that's where that comes from. So anytime you're working with these, make sure uh, exponent operations. Make sure that you use the you know hand-me-down operations appropriately. Realize that you can kind of move things around without having to apply operations. And also, if you're going to flip a term on the fraction... going to flip the term on the fraction, make sure you have the opposite sign once you get there. You're allowed to move these however it makes sense for you to do it in order to manipulate the terms to get what you want, but you have to follow the rule that if this 5 goes down here, it becomes negative 5. If this 7 goes up here, it becomes negative 7. And if this negative 3 goes down here, it becomes positive because it has to be the opposite sign. If you get all that stuff, you should be good to go.